Hey, welcome back. You're watching Centerline Designs. My name's Cole if you're new to the channel. And we got a little bit of repair work to do today. Family and I tried to go in ice fishing. I haven't been ice fishing in a long time. Haven't really gone and done too much lately. So we had an ice fishing trip planned, go up north, get into a remote trout lake where the fishing's just phenomenal. And I've had really good luck with this truck all winter. Um, not a problem, you know, very little snow and it's been doing great. Well, 50 feet from unloading off the trailer and it throws this track off. So these mat tracks are pretty nice. They're the mat track light foots. They're a fairly light duty track, um, although they're quite well made. Uh, it's all like cast aluminum pieces. However, I think they're quite over engineered. They have this internal suspension system that's supposed to help give you a better ride. But in my experience with this thing, it really doesn't. It doesn't seem to do a thing and it just adds a lot of weight and a little bit of complexity. When you toss a track on this, it's rather hard to get back on. We're gonna have to uh, loosen off all of the tensioning springs for that uh, suspension system. And then there's a off-center uh, bearing housing in here that actually lifts the sprocket up and down and that creates the tensioning for the actual track itself. So I think we're probably gonna have to go ahead, pull off this bearing cover, maybe even make up a special tool uh, to rotate that eccentric and uh, give us some more play in the track rubber. I'm thinking it's probably easiest if I try and get the track back on the frame and uh, and then go ahead we drive this off the trailer and then swap the tires on and pull the Outlander in and do the same. But uh, anytime I've tossed a track on these before, it's, oh man, it's frustrating. It, uh, not that easy. But anyways, enough's enough. We'll uh, finish lifting this thing up and get to work. I think once we unchain the truck, we're going to go ahead, uh, lift it up a bit, uh, pull this housing cover off, see if we can rotate that bearing, might have to make up a, a tool for that, and then go ahead and take the tension off there. And I'm thinking, being that the truck will hold the track frame, it might be easier for me to pry on and stuff like that and get in place. Normally, I uh, throw a track at the end of every year. I don't know. It just seems to be a thing. And uh, it's actually always this corner too. Maybe there's something up there, but uh, I've always found that I need to, you know, wherever it breaks down, um, take the tracks off and put the tires back on to be able to get home. But let's see how it works when it's on the vehicle. Well, that's not a great sign. Yeah, well, that's pretty interesting. There is some debris in there, and that shouldn't be. This should be pretty much sealed off. They're not like a greasable bearing. So, I think that's gonna warrant some investigation. Now, as you can see here, there's less material here than there is there. So if that is at the top, it's just slightly turned backwards. If that's at the top, the sprocket's actually at its lowest, which means the track's at its loosest. So this may have rotated 
because uh, that cap, when it's tightened down, that actually locks everything in place. Um, so this looks like it should be rotated so that the shaft actually rises and tightens the rubber, um, which may have been the reason why this decided to throw itself off, but. All right, well, the more I'm working here, I'm actually starting to think that I should load this on the trailer every time I need to change it. Everything's at a perfect working height. I mean, in a world of ergonomics, it's almost like I put the truck on a lift and you still have a nice deck. I can throw the floor jack on. It's really quite easy. May have just accidentally discovered something here. But um, that's a little unfortunate. That should be a sealed bearing in there and there shouldn't be any debris. So. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pop the other covers off. Let's see what the other uh, three main bearings look like. Cause this thing might have a bearing on the way out, which is really nice to catch early. I'll throw some pictures on the screen. Um, these tracks are used and when I pick them up, um, I ran them for a little bit and then wound up getting stranded uh, because it blew the main bearing apart. And because everything is very specific, I had to go right back to Matt tracks and it was an expensive repair. Um, they aren't cheap with their parts, but. So if we could catch it before it does any damage to housings and whatnot, oh, save myself a lot of money. Let's uh, I'll pop up those other covers and let's see what they look like because might as well do it right here. It's at an absolutely perfect working height, so. Da da da. Oh, very nice. Very nice. I threw a little bit of extra grease in this one just to help seal it up. And a little bit of extra grease in there, and that stuff looks absolutely perfect. So it doesn't even seem like any moisture has gotten in here. Cool. Well, that one's good. Da, da, da. That one looks really good too. Nice. All right. Fears are slowly being eliminated. However, none of these look like they're as tight as they should be. But all right, let's put that back on. And that, that one looks really good too. This was the one I replaced because it has a larger shaft. They actually upgraded the parts uh, when they did it. And it came with this locking tab as well. So, all right. Well, it looks like there's only one that I need to really investigate further. See why I say it's so finicky? Better remember to get all these things. Put them back on the bolts. I'm pretty convinced that I'm gonna just uh, put the wheels on while it's still on the trailer. So I'm just gonna take these, clean them all up, clean everything up once the tracks are off. Well, as a little bit of my fear is I, it's just gonna be so wiggly here. Hmm. All right, well, I'll just keep the process going of taking these off. Okay, 
just the rotation. There, we'll get gravity to help us on this. not just this side you're fighting, it's the other side too. See? Just gonna beat it into shape. Adapter plates off. the anti-rotation brackets there for the track. Well, that's really all there is to it, to getting these tracks off and uh, tires back on. Go ahead, make sure the air pressure is good in this, and then uh, the back's actually even easier. So we'll get that done, and then I'll do the other side off camera, and maybe go for a little drive, and hopefully if I have enough ambition, get over to that quad. Yeah, actually 20 pounds, it's not bad. To those of you that are new to the channel and just don't know, there's a reason I'm building a snowcat, a completely dedicated vehicle for winter. I love this mini truck on tracks, but uh, I just found a little bit more damage. Let's go check it out. All right, so I was making my way to the back of the truck. I figured I'd do this other side off camera and uh, get to a back track and show you taking one of them off. And look at what we have here. So this is the anti-rotation arm uh, that helps the whole track frame not roll around and take out your fender. It keeps the track frame fairly steady. I'll actually show you. The track frame itself, well, we're missing a bolt there too. The track frame itself has these rubber bushings in two pieces of square tubing, so it can articulate one way or the other way, but can't completely spin. So this only happens when you hit something really hard 
likely that made the track kick up, pulled down, put a huge tear in here. I wouldn't be surprised if this strut has a bit of a bow in it now too. That is the risk of running these tracks. There's really no other way around it. But, I mean, these weren't meant to go on tracks. And that's why I say, ooh, look at that. What happened there? Uh, that's why I say I am slowly killing this truck. That's a, that's a good hefty dent I don't remember ever seeing. Whew. Well, I guess you never truly know what you're gonna find uh, when you take something apart. Oh well, it's nothing that we can't just fix and uh, yeah, it is what it is. Hopefully by next winter, we'll be using the Snowcat um, and this may just not go back on tracks again. It's worth to me more as a little mini dump truck with my uh, mini excavator there. So anyways, I'll keep getting this side done and we'll meet you at the back. Introducing the track truck. If you're too cheap to be able to buy four tracks. Anyone else think they, uh, I should go for a ride in this thing like this? <laughs> it's the ultimate for spring. It's in between seasons. <laughs> what could go wrong? traction is horrible it can only be in two-wheel drive otherwise the drive lines would line up because we're running two different size uh tires and sprockets but it can't even back up i tried to stop here to get the camera and all of the weight is in the front end on these k trucks so there is no traction nothing i got stuck on the lawn okay <laughs> Well, it's not perfect, but man, this thing saves a bat. All right, well, I think that's enough for this video. I'm not gonna be getting the tires on that quad right now. Um, this was enough for the day. One big chore done, ready to use this thing with the mini excavator. Unfortunately, I want to let everyone know, I don't think we're gonna be doing that house lift this year. Uh, we have our all of our timbers, but there is so much prep work to do. I think we're gonna try and unload a little stress and uh, tackle the lift next year. I still plan on filming it all, uh, but we got a ton of prep that's gonna happen this summer that we'll take care of. And then I think that'll leave a little bit more opportunity for some other fun videos, working on our garden, maybe some more snowcat work. So yeah, 
we want to not rush we want to continue to move forward um but i don't feel like uh you know stressing out over it so one day at a time right okay well thanks for watching if you enjoyed that give me a comment hit that like i really appreciate it uh i got lots of other stuff to come and uh as always see you in the next one